In this video, we're going to go ahead and solve a first order linear differential equation. After learning about derivatives and integrals, it's time to start talking about differential equations. Differential equations are powerful tools that help us understand real world phenomena. They are used in physics, engineering, and biology to describe rate of change and predict systems behavior over time. Some key applications could be Newton's law of cooling, growth and decay, mixing problems, and electrical circuits. And solving this type of first order linear differential equation is going to be really fun. So let's talk about what we have here. We have y prime plus 2x times y is equal to e to the power of x minus x squared. Now, why is it a first order differential equation? Well, because we only have the first derivative. We don't have the second or the third derivative whatsoever. And why is it linear? Because there's no funny business between the derivative and y, meaning that it's not being multiplied by anything else. It's not like y, y prime or anything like that. We like those types of differential equations because it helps us use something called the integrating factor. This technique is not like separation of variables. That's a lot easier. The integrating factor is something that is pretty unique with first order differential equations. A lot of the times it's just told to use it, but I want to show you why it works. So here's the general form for the first order linear differential equation. And what we're going to do is multiply everything by an R of X. As you can see, we have R of X Y prime, R of X P of X Y equals to R of X F of X. Now I want you to look at the left hand side. And notice that the left hand side is essentially a product rule where you have r of x y prime times r of x p of x y. So you have the first term times the derivative of the second plus the derivative of the first term times the second term. So in other words, r of x p of x is some form of the derivative of r. So now we're just going to go ahead and make this left hand side equals to r of x f of x. So let's go ahead and explore what this r of x is going to be. Well, as I mentioned, r of x p of x is essentially the derivative of r and that's exactly what we have written here. Now we're going to go ahead and just sort of just rearrange this and do dr over dx is equal to r p of x. So let's now go ahead and use separation of variables by dividing the r to the other side and multiplying the dx to the other side and that gives us this equation right here. And now we can go ahead and integrate and we get natural log of r equals the integral of p of x which we don't know. And then we take the e of both sides and we get that r of x is equal to e to the power of the integral of p of x with respect to x. And p of x is the term that's being multiplied by the y in the original equation. I'm telling you, that's super cool. Now let's go see it in action. So going back to this particular problem, it looks like this is going to be our p of x. So we're going to find our integrating factor, r of x, by taking e to the power of the integral of p of x with respect to x. So p of x was equal to 2x, so let's go ahead and write that down. And we have e to the integral of 2x with respect to x. Luckily for us, that's something that we can easily integrate, given us that the integrating factor is e to the x squared. Now, don't forget to not put a plus c here. It's not gonna be needed. The math basically takes care of itself in this situation. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna multiply the e to the power of x squared to everything, to each term on the left and the right hand side. That's exactly how it looks like right now. Now, as I mentioned, I keep talking about the left hand side being a product rule and that's exactly what it is. Look at this, we have this times the derivative of y plus this value, which is essentially the derivative of e to the x squared times y. So what we can say is that this is e x squared y and that's the derivative of that. Okay, if you were to use product rule, you will see that we will get the exact same thing here on the left hand side. And then on the right hand side, we just use properties of exponents and the x squared and this x squared will now go away. All right, and so now what we have is we have the derivative on the left hand side and e to the x on the right hand side. So what we're going to go ahead and do is just integrate both sides. And that's going to be really nice because this, the integral of a derivative is just the original function. So that will give us e to the x squared y equals, and now we have e to the x plus c. And now all we have left to do is to isolate the y variable. So we're going to divide everything by e to the x squared. So we have y equals e to the x plus your constant over e to the x squared. Now you can go ahead and rewrite this just a little bit different and say that y is equal to e to the x minus x squared plus c e to the negative x squared. And what right now what you have is your general solution for a differential equation. 
As you can see, there is no way that this could have been solved using separation of variables. We have to use the integrating factor. And that's exactly what you do whenever you're dealing with first order linear differential equations. Man, that's just so fun. And I think we should definitely continue talking about differential equations because it seems like it's an interesting topic for a lot of the people that watch my channel here. But anyway, that's going to do it for today. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and please follow me on Instagram and on TikTok where I'm posting daily math problems. I hope you had a lot of fun and I'll see you in the next one.